So can you describe the basic theory or premise behind your book, Mood Matters? Yes, I'm happy to. Uh, the book is about the relationship between the mood of a population, how it feels about the future on all time scales, and the collective social events that take place within that population, ranging from uh, popular culture events like the uh, taste that the population has in books or movies at a particular time, to longer time scale events like the shifts in political feelings and ideologies, to even very long time scale events involving uh, perhaps the change of uh, relationship with other world powers. That's what the book is about. And it explores the thesis, or I'll call it a hypothesis, that the mood of the population biases the qualitative character of the events that you can expect to see. So if the mood is positive, if people are looking forward to the future, optimistic about the future, then the types of events that you can expect to see might be described by everyday words like joining, happy, uh, welcoming, global, uh, words of that type. On the other hand, if the group is fearing the future, uh, thinking perhaps tomorrow is going to be worse than today, then you get just the opposite kinds of events. Instead of global, you get local. Instead of happy, you get sad. Instead of welcoming, you get xenophobic, and so forth. And the overall story in my book is that it is the mood of the population that gives rise to the events that we can expect to see, not the other way around. And in fact, probably the most, let's say, controversial aspect of my story is that there is no feedback from events back to the formation of the mood. So events don't cause people to feel a certain way. The way people feel causes events of a certain type.